Hi guys, Jason here from Divine Hammer Computers. I have an unboxing for you. This is the Mini X Neo Z64. And what it is, is it's a 64-bit mini PC that runs on Android. It also features an Intel processor, which is something a little different for these things. And, uh, yeah, so this is uh, the box of the unit. Um, it runs on an Intel Z3735F 64-bit processor. Uh, it has Intel HD graphics, 2 gigs of DDR3L, uh, 32 gigs of internal storage, wireless connectivity, which is uh, your 802.11n, Wi-Fi, and uh, Bluetooth 4.0. It runs Android KitKat 4.4.4, but it will also run Windows 8.1. Uh, video support is HDMI 1.4, has audio through HDMI or through uh, the 3.5 stereo jack. Um, yeah, and so there's not much to say on the outside of the box. It talks about RAM and storage and all those things. Well, let's get the box open and we'll see see what it contains. I'll do that without damaging the box, hopefully. Okay. See that? Okay, opening the box. So in the box we have a product brochure, a multi-language setup guide, we have the unit itself which is, wow there's some real heft to this, didn't quite expect that, that's a fairly heavy box. So on this side we have power switch, micro SD, two USB 2.0s. On the back we have a headphone port, HDMI, you have your gigabit LAN, your power in, and you have your Wi-Fi antenna on the other side. And on the front it looks like an RF receiver. So very small and very, very compact. Now, so we also got in the box here. You have your remote control. Uh, it doesn't look like anything too fancy. Um, can use a keyboard in most if you want. HDMI cable. It's a little short one. That's uh, a nice inclusion, I guess. And you have uh, your power brick, which is just a simple. So. That's everything in the box. Uh, now we'll hook it up and we'll see what it boots up like. There we go. So it's booting up just like a regular computer, surprisingly. And I'm assuming first boot always takes a little longer than other things. Oh, there we go. We're right at the desktop. That was pretty quick, actually. Um, I have a keyboard and mouse connected here. They don't. Oh, maybe I'm using the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, as you can see it comes with installed with a video player, XBMC, has some music, some gaming, some settings. Um, very interesting, I've got the, I've got it connected through a LAN cable so it should have internet. Um, looks like they have an app market, oh, Google Play, okay. So you can create an account or add an existing one. Very cool. The app market. Oops. Um, okay, so Cody's up and running as you guys just saw it load. 
Um, now it's running some updates. So I'm just going to wait for that to finish. Cool thing, Cody was already installed, so I didn't have to do anything there. Um, what isn't installed... Um, is the TV add-ons, which is what I'm going to be installing right away here. I'm still waiting for stuff to update. Uh, it looks like it might be done now, which would be good. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG oops AG and click done and I just called it dot fusion as a there we go so double click on it you can check see if it worked everything's there good okay so now we're gonna go back system settings add-ons we're gonna install from a zip file and the zip file we're picking is the one we just created fusion we're going to click on start here and we're going to click on hub wizard and then it takes a couple seconds just give it time and within a couple seconds here it should start installing We can click back. Uh, okay, so configuration wizard came up down bottom. It's uh, now ready to go. So if we go programs, uh, we can click on program add add-ons. Click on configuration wizard, and we want to configure this. Um, <clears throat> we'll click on Android, we'll click yes, and we'll wait for things to download. Pretty impressed so far with the speed of this device. Uh, it's running really well. Okay, so there's all that stuff. It's now been added. Um, <clears throat> so basically, what it's done now is it's added all these add ons. And uh, one of my favorites definitely is Genesis. Um, you can go TV shows or movies. Um, it's something like most popular. We'll get you the most popular TV shows that are on TV right now. Um, and then you can click on whatever. We'll try Orange is the New Black just for the heck of it. Um, season 3 is still on Netflix, but we'll try it. And first episode. And what it'll do here is it'll search. It'll give me a list of video sources that are out there. Um, sometimes you have problems playing the HD ones in the daytime. Um, they work better at night. I'm just going to go high quality just for the heck of it here and see what happens. Obviously the time is out. It's not 8.33 at night, that's for sure. going to have to go fix that. And hopefully within a couple seconds here, if I pick the right stream that's working, it should uh, start playing. There we go. So you guys can see it works. Um, and this works for everything you can possibly think of. 
uh, movies. Um, ooh, some steamy scene going on there in the background. Um, we'll go most popular movies. See what we got. So your most popular movies. Some of these are still in theaters. Um, odds are you're not going to get good quality ones right now. Give it a couple months and you'll probably have these in high def easily. Uh, I'm going to try Mad Max because I know this did work the other day. Oh, we got nudity in the background. Okay, let's try Video Mega HD and see if that works. And of course I don't have sound enabled on here because it's... Uh, my speakers are turned off right now. But yeah, you do get sound with it. So I clicked on the HD version, it's telling me it's 52 minutes. That can't be right. Mm, it's playing, but that is pretty horrible quality compared to the one I had yesterday. Well, maybe not. 720p. My monitor does not have the best color, so... It could fully be the monitor's problem. It is a 4K panel. But yeah, you can see it. It's adjusted the time. It's now 153.59 is the length of the file. So, something even as new as Mad Max works. Uh, anyways, guys, this is Jason from uh, Divine Amber Computers. And uh, thanks for checking out my video. Like and subscribe. If you need more information on these boxes, uh, they're... I mean, unless you have a computer hooked directly to your TV, this is the next best bet. Uh, they even make this model with uh, Windows 8.1 as a possibility. So, till next time, guys. Take care. Talk to you soon.